Yeah, so um, I was leading first against the battle with Ryan Turk in the finals. Uh, tried to do the best lead run I could. I, I did a really good lead run. It was nice, it was smooth, it was fast. Got all my clips and uh, you could see he was close to me um, throughout the bank. Um, but I think he had some mistakes. I didn't see, but I heard from the guys after that he made some mistakes. So while I was chasing him, uh, he was fast off the start line really fast and entering the first corner uh, he pulled a bit of a gap and i was trying to play a bit of catch up we caught him but it wasn't as close as i wanted it to be but we had, had no mistakes so i think that's what it finally came down to just no mistakes he is james the machine So after five rounds of competition, James Ian is clearly your championship leader, and it doesn't look like he's going to let go of that very easily. You see, after Orlando, he made the changes that he needed to the vehicle, and he's been very consistent and strong. So drivers are really going to have to focus on what they need to do in order to beat James Dean in the chase, because that is where most of these battles have been won by James. And if they can beat him in the chase, they got a chance, but there's a lot of work to do. You know, I think my hope is that St. Louis is going to be the equalizer. It's the, the one track that nobody has been to. Not, not the veterans, not the Europeans, uh, nobody. Um, so hopefully this new setup, this new layout, this new configuration will bring a little bit of an equalizer and, and maybe it'll shake up the championship. You know, I hope it will and make it an amazing end to the season. We're now past the halfway mark of the 2018 Formula Drift season and we've had a great start to the year. We're sitting second in points uh, within striking distance of the lead uh, and historically we haven't been that strong for the last four events. But this year I really think that can change. We have a better car than ever before. We know where we screwed up last year. I really hope this is our year. Yeah, to get in our championship it would it'd be insane. You know, we've, we've been here since day one and to go from getting on the podium at the very first round of Formula Drift to still being able to win championships um, you know, this, um, this far down the road, it is, it's awesome. You know, it just shows that uh, you know, drifting is, is fun and exciting and you never really know what to expect and you know, like it's, it's what I want to do, it's what I'm good at and uh, I'm just going to keep kind of doing it for as long as I can. As long as the, the crowds keep coming and the cars keep running, you know, we're just going to be out there burning tires. Last year was the biggest dream of my life come true, winning the Formula Drift Championship. And again, being in contention halfway through feels amazing. And uh, I just know if it happens a second time, like, it just blows your mind. So this is like the biggest challenge I've ever been through in life. It's the, it's, you need to be so focused and you need so many things to, to go right. And it definitely doesn't come easy. So if we do get to that point, I'm sure my mind will be blown just like it was last year.